okay friends welcome you all in this video in the last video we will learn about the variables and functions in this video we will learn the next part of it that is a conditional statement in Arduino IDE so let us see conditional statements the conditional statements are used for specifying the manner in which the competitions in a program are to be done generally semicolon are used to end the state the different conditional statement used in the programming are deep statement deep else for loop statement while statement switch statement so these are the conditional statement often needed in the arduino program in the various competitions in the program so let us see one by one so first if statement uh, if statement allows you to make something happen or not right so if statement is there for something happen or not depending on whether a condition given is true or not like the sentence uh, the syntax for the if statement is if the some condition is given and in the curly bracket do stuff if the condition is true so very simple if such the condition is satisfied then do that particular uh, uh, what we can say work if the condition is true the statement following the if statement is executed otherwise it is skipped if this condition is followed then and then only this statement will be followed or this uh, uh, program or instruction will be executed otherwise it will skip so simple example i have given here if the analog value is greater than the threshold value here a threshold value is defined and the analog value is greater than threshold value if this condition satisfied then what it will do it will write digital write led pin it will write led pin as a high right if the led pin uh, the connected led then led will glow so that means a very simple if statement if this value is satisfied the condition is satisfied then it will perform the next task otherwise it will be skipped so this is called the if statement now let us move if else statement now it is a simply basic uh, if statement now if else the if else allows greater control over the flow of code than the basic if statement right it will have better control than the if statement the if else statement is conditional if the condition is true the statement following the if statement is executed otherwise the statement following else statement will be executed now there was only if statement is there otherwise it will be skipped here if the condition not satisfied then there will be a else state so both condition will be there either this condition will satisfy connecting if or another statement will satisfy connecting else so their syntax is simply if the condition statement or else the statement for example here uh, if the temperature is greater than or equal to 70 then there will be a danger shut down the system there will be a program so it will show the danger and shut down the system if this condition is satisfied that is temperature is uh, equal to or greater than 70 then there will be a shutdown now else if it is within the limit uh, below 70 then what will happen there will be a slip continue usual task so else the temperature is less than 70 then there will be a slip and the uh, task will be continue so this is what e panel statement is often uh, required in the some programs the third uh, statement is for loop statement uh, for loop statement is used to repeat to repeat a block of statement enclosed in curly braces an increment counter is usually used to increment and terminate the loop so this type of statement is used to repeat a block some particular block block is there and that we have to repeat in the program that will be given in curly brackets so this will 
increment every times by their next value and terminate if the increment is done their syntax is for the initialization the condition and the increment and there will be a statement in the curly bracket so this is the syntax where initialization means happens first and exactly once so this will happens only once then condition there will be a each time through the loop condition is tested if it's true the statement block and the increment is executed then the condition is tested again when the condition becomes false the loop end okay there will be a condition if it is satisfied the condition is true then this will increment otherwise if the condition is false the loop will end and the increment which will be executed each time through the loop when the condition is true if the condition is true this will be executed in the loop so this is what for an loop statement the for and the loop will be continue to execute for example here it is given for in the bracket integer i is equal to 0 this is what initialization initial value is 0 for integer i then condition is given i is less than or equal to 255 this is the condition i should be less than or equal to 255 then increment by 1 so i plus plus this is the command or the syntax which will be used for the loop the statement is given if this uh, loop satisfied the statement what statement to execute analog write pwm pin i and the delay 100 millisecond that is 0.1 second so this will write pwm pin as a i what i here it is defined so it will like uh, this uh, program or this syntax is often needed to control the pwm pulse width modulation so by using this uh, loop we can modulate the pulse so this pulse will modulate from its initial value 0 to its final value 255 so accordingly that pulse will be modified and the output voltage will be changed so this uh, may be uh, useful in controlling the speed of dc motor so here initial value is 0 and the i will be less than 255 and increment by 1 so what will happen initially it is 0 then this loop will be continued then what uh, the condition is true i is 0 so it is less than 255 so increment by 1 so i becomes 1 in the next time so again it is less than 255 so you can increment by 1 so 0 1 2 3 4 this loop will be incremented up to its final value 255 so when that i becomes 255 so what happens the condition becomes false and the loop ends so when i becomes 255 this loop will end and it will stop the writing analog pin or analog write so this is what for loop statement and the next statement is while while is a condition is true the while loop repeats a statement or a block of code if the condition is true then while loop repeat a statement or block of code before executing the statement the value of expression is checked their syntax is while the condition is given and the statement followed in curly bracket so this is the syntax the while loop is executed till the condition becomes false like for loop statement while statement is uh, somewhat similar here for example variable which is defined 0 initial value in the while the condition is given variable is less than 200 then do something repetitive 200 times by var plus plus so var will increase increment every time and it will repeat 200 times because the condition is given that this var variable should be less than 200 so if y the condition this y the condition is given what condition is given var less than 200 
then statement followed do something repetitive 200 times so this uh, syntax will repeat the loop 200 times so this is what the while statement and the last one is switch statement like if statement switch controls the flow of programs by allowing programmer to specify different codes that should be executed in various conditions so it is like a if statement which controls the program allowing program to specify different codes so it will switch from one statement to another statement in particular a switch statement compares the value of variable to the value specified in case statement so there will be a case statement there will be a switch statement so it will open switch when a case statement is found whose value matches that of the variable the code in that case statement is run when case statement is found whose value matches that of the variable the code in that case statement is run the break keyword exit exits the switch statement and is typically used at the end of each case so after the switch statement there will be a case statement and at the end there will be a break statement so for example their syntax is switch this is a initial statement switch the variable is defined case label one and the statement follows that case and there will be a break so this is what the first switch statement so there will be a switch variable defined here and the statement case label and the break similarly there will be a second case label their statement and break so this will be a second part and default to set as a default and the break okay for example switch a variable is given case one do something when we are equal to one so if this we are equal to one then break so it will end here okay so in case second do something when we are equal to two then break again and then default if nothing else matches do the default then if uh, nothing this case one case two does not matches then set as a default so default uh, will be optional here and at the end the statement will be break so this is what called the switch statement so here in this lecture we have studied the uh, different conditional statement uh, for arduino programming hope you understand uh, thank you for watching it thank you